Hello everyone and welcome to Mixing Continents. This will be the first video on our channel and we're going to start things off with a new series, No Bars in the Wild, where I'm going to bring you cocktails inspired from the heart of nature and create drinks when no bartender has gone before. The aim for this channel is to explore the world through cocktails and we'll be doing this by crossing borders, mixing continents and enjoying the journey one sip at a time on the road to discover what new flavours lay ahead. Today we find ourselves on the infamous stretch of Pebble Beach that divides two bodies of water here in the south of England, the Hurst Split, located at the beautiful Milford on Sea, right at the edge of the New Forest. Before we get to making a drink, we have to go and find our spot first. For this, we walked up the two mile stretch of beach towards Hurst Castle, an old artillery fortress originally commissioned by King Henry VIII. With stunning views of Key Haven Marsh on the left, in gracing our horizon on the right, we have the Isle of Wight, with views of the iconic chalk stacks, the needles poking out of the sea. To commemorate this breathtaking view, I've crafted a cocktail that I believe captures the essence of this location, the New Forest Gatto Martini. A twist on the classic espresso martini, which on a day like today was the perfect drink after a long walk in the sun. First, you have to give me a moment to get out my equipment, so I can show you what you'll need to make this drink. To start things off, we'll be needing a Hawthorne strainer, a fine strainer, and of course, some cocktail shakers. And yes, that's plural, but you'll see why later. A few extra things that will come in handy will be a pair of the finest tongs, a grater for the garnish, and a scoop for your ice. And a spoon, but I assume you already have one of those. Next, our mise en place. To start off with our ingredients today, we'll be using mermaid salt vodka hailing from the Isle of Wight distillery just across the water. Using this will infuse a breath of fresh sea air into our drink and leave a hint of the ocean in our lips. We'll also be using Kahlua, a rich and robust coffee liqueur that will marry perfectly with our freshly brewed espresso from five hours ago. But don't worry, we kept it chilling in the ice bag. And finally, to incorporate the essence of the forest, we'll be using creme de lune, a blackberry liqueur, which will bring a bright fruity profile to our drink and you can't have a gatto without cherries. So for our sweetener, we're gonna be using some maraschino cherry syrup. Now to bring this concoction to life. First, you want to add all of your ingredients to the shaker. And as any good bartender would say, start with the cheapest ingredients first, just in case something goes wrong. You don't wanna waste any of the good stuff. So to begin, add 10 milliliters of the maraschino cherry syrup, 50 milliliters of your espresso, 15 milliliters of your creme de mur, 15 milliliters of the Kahlua coffee liqueur, and to finish things off, of course, we'll be using 30 milliliters of the mermaid salt vodka. As we have two liqueurs in this recipe, the cocktail may be on the sweet side, but the saltiness of the vodka will balance those flavors out. Finally, add your ice to the tin and shake that bad boy up. You wanna give your espresso martini a good hard shake here to make sure you add lots of air to the liquid so you get that thick and creamy froth that we all know and love. Unfortunately, I didn't bring enough ice in me to chill my glass today, as we want to have more than one cocktail, as you can imagine. But I would recommend that you do so, as it will keep the drink chilled for longer. Now back to the cocktail. When pouring, make sure to double strain to remove all of those loose size shards and avoid any more dilution, especially on a hot day like today. Now we're gonna quickly flash back to preparing the garnish. You may have noticed a few extra ingredients on our board earlier, and that is because today we are doing a whipped cream infused with Baileys and Stambeco, which is a maraschino cherry amaro, as if this drink wasn't alcoholic enough. This recipe should be enough to cover around three to four drinks. And to start, you want to add 200 milliliters of double cream, 50 milliliters of Stambeco, and 50 milliliters of Baileys. And also when making the whipped cream, you will need some form of stabilizer to help thicken it up. And for that, I'm using a tablespoon of confectioner's sugar, as it contains a small amount of cornstarch, which will help it keep its form. Next, I'm going to give it a quick little shake to aerate and chill since it's a whopping 31 degrees out today. Also, if 
For any vegans out there, you can follow the same recipe but use a coconut cream with a dash of vanilla extract and replace the Baileys of their almond alternative. And when you're done, pour that mixture into the dispenser. To finish off our cocktail, balance a crack of dark chocolate on the rim of the glass. This will accentuate the rich bitterness of the espresso. Add your freshly whipped, unnecessarily alcoholic cream. And on top, pop a blackberry that we may or may not have picked earlier. And don't forget the cherry on top of the cake. And just to be a bit extra, drizzle on some of that syrup for colour. And let's shave what's left of the chocolate over the top. Why not? And there you have it, the new Forest Gatto Martini. This drink is rich and bold in flavour, with a subtle hint of red berries and a soft, creamy texture. You can't go wrong and in my opinion, much better than an afternoon tea. Now, I believe the fusion of flavors is an art form, and here we are, sat at the edge of the world, for a drink that fuses our surroundings with craftsmanship of mixology. This has been a true testament to the wonders that await us beyond the walls of the local bar, and I invite you to recreate this drink at home and taste the new Forest Gatto Martini for yourself. Thank you for joining me in this adventure. And a special thanks goes to Gustavo for helping me plan this trip, as well as Christina and Ben for coming along for the experience. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe, and stay tuned for more No Bars in the Wild. Also, if you would like to see the whole walk, you can do on my other channel, The Mooching Channel. And to keep up to date with all the latest recipes and adventures, you can follow my blog at mixandmooch.com. I'll leave all the links in the description, but until then, cheers and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace out.